Hello, my dear students. Now it's the time to discuss with you the she or ni or reference electron. I would like to ask share to you that why we are using the word e not because of that some error are present whenever you are measuring the emf i will i would like to discuss you here what is emf and difference between the potential difference difference between the emf and potential difference but before that i would like to discuss the she what is the she or ni or reference electrode she was stand, uh, standard hydrogen electrode normal hydrogen electrode actually it is that we are taken the hydrogen in test tube and with platinum black cottage in that test tube it is coming hydrogen gas with platinum wire cottage at uh, one bar pressure one m hcl concentration and platinum wire glass jacket finally divided to platinum wire so we can check that cell is proper working or not platinum clotted standard hydrogen electrode to check the electrode potential of a particular metal reference electrode she helps in determining the electrode potential which set up on the wall of the electrode when cell it is dipped into its own solution in she hydrogen gas at one bar pressure is passed through one mhcl solution at 298 kelvin temperature in which a foil of platinum coated with platinum black is immersed in the KCL solution. It might be asked at anode it is represented like this platinum as hydrogen converting into the H plus and one bar pressure. So means that loss of electron at anode I am representing and at cathode also H plus H2 platinum coated. Platinum reduces the polarization effect that I discussed in that electrolytic cell. Then the word is using standard electropotential after using the hydrogen because the e naught value of hydrogen, its oxidation as well as reduction potential both are zero. So standard oxidation potential and standard reduction potential of hydrogen that is E naught H2 plus converting into the H plus and E naught for H plus converting into H2 both are 0 volt that's why we can check that a particular metal another metal is showing the oxidation or reduction so when we attach any other metal with the hydrogen if that metal is representing the oxidation hydrogen will represent the reduction if that will show the reduction it will show the oxidation that's why it has been used and very useful then come next is that what is the emf now the e naught e naught which i was talking in the last class standard hydrogen electrode is used because in hydrogen both oxidation and reduction takes place and nowadays this is not using in place of this one we are using silver calomel electrode why because of that this is platinum is poisonous also and it is very difficult to maintain these conditions 1 mhcl 298 kelvin 1 bar pressure now come on the emf emf stand for electromotive force electromotive force it is defined as the difference between electrode potential of the two cells the cell is not sending current 
through the circuit that is called emf and the unit of emf is what volt and that's why we are doing emf electromotive force which we are calling e not when the hydrogen is used that conditions are coming standard that's why we are using the word e not emf is equal to e right minus e left which i told you when the standard hydrogen electrode is used then it is writing as e0 which i am calling e not that the standard electrode potential e right minus e left which i was using e not of the cell that is ec minus ea and main thing is that what is emf <coughs> it is a difference in electrode potential when there is a no current flows through the cell that gives you emf my dear student learn it clearly it can become and then you are only one if you would like to do this emf is the difference in the electrode potential when no current flows through the cell whereas potential difference is that it is the difference in the electrode potential when current is flowing through the circuit when current is flowing through the circuit then we are finding the potential difference and emf its maximum voltage which can be obtained from the cell yes this is the point emf is what maximum voltage which can be obtained from cell and potential difference it is less than maximum voltage which can be obtained from the cell this is very interesting emf when there is no current and potential difference when current is flowing emf is the maximum voltage which we are getting from the cell and emf is also responsible for steady current it is not responsible and emf is measured by potentiometer emf is measured by potentiometer whereas potential difference is measured by the voltmeter my dear students it's a very very important point emf is the maximum voltage which we can get from the cell and it is calculated when there is no current it is when is current is flowing potential difference we get from the voltmeter and this we will get from the potential meter and in the next class i would like to sum up the e not electrochemical cells one two three more point i am summing up then electrochemical cell will be over thank you very much my dear student for being with me next class is important please be with me thank you guys